All right, the Inflation Reduction Act passed through Congress and was signed into law in August of last year. But when the bill was being considered in Congress, conservatives all over the place really understood that this bill was perhaps one of the worst misnamed bills in American history because it was not about reducing inflation. It was all about climate change, as we've already mentioned briefly in the program. So did the president really do anything? Has he done anything to bring down inflation? Well, joining me now to discuss this is Congressman Buddy Carter. He is a member of the House Budget Committee and also the House Committee on Energy and Commerce. He represents my great state of Georgia and our state's first congressional district. Congressman Carter, great to see you. Welcome back to Washington Watch. Thank you, Jody. It's always good to see you, man. I, I'm so happy you're doing well. And, and listen, we miss you. We miss your conservative values and, and we just miss your presence on Capitol Hill. Well, thank you so much. Please send my love to all the delegation there, if you would. All right, let's jump into this, uh, Congressman, if we can. Uh, it's been a year, uh, right out a year since the Inflation Reduction Act was enacted. Uh, tell us what you hear from your constituents. What, what, what are they saying, as, whether they know about this bill or not? The bill certainly is misnamed. But what is the condition? What are your constituents experiencing regarding inflation and the economy as a whole? Well, first of all, you're right, Jody. It is misnamed. It's called the Inflation Reduction Act. It, it ought to be called the Inflation Expansion Act. You know, the, President Biden and this administration, they want to take credit for lowering inflation. Well, let's let's compare apples to apples here. I mean, when they took office, inflation was at 1.4 percent. And look at what it is now. And that's what the people in the 1st Congressional District in Georgia and throughout the state of Georgia are saying about the Inflation Reduction Act. They're saying saying that it has not reduced inflation at all. It's still expensive. Gas is still expensive. It's gone up even more here during the summertime, which it typically does, but it's gone up even more. Not only that, but the price of food, the price of everything. And you know, Jody, I'll be quite honest with you. Bidenomics in Georgia is a four-letter word, and it's not a very nice word at all. People are tired of this. They're tired of these policies, and that's what it's about. It's about policies. As you well know, Jody, you you were a champion for, for conservative policies that we need and, and a supporter of, of President Trump and his policies. And, and, and that's what we've been trying to do in the new Republican majority in Congress is the commitment to America. And, you know, H.R. 1 was the lowering energy cost. What we're trying to do is to make America energy independent again. We understand how important energy independence is to our national security. We understand how important pharmaceutical independence is to our national security, how important food independence is to our national security. Yet this administration has done nothing but throw all of those out the door. Day one, this administration declared war on fossil fuels, causing an increase in prices of gas, causing an increase in inflation, causing an increase in interest rate. And now we have the mess we have in the economy. It's unbelievable. And an exclamation point on all those various sectors that you just mentioned. Let, let me just throw this out and get your reaction to this. All right, we've established the Inflation Reduction Act had nothing to do with reducing infla inflation. In fact, it's had the opposite impact. But really, it was all about uh, climate change. It's about green energy. So let me just throw this out to you. Is there any conceivable way that provisions for clean energy, a tax credits, for example, uh, does green energy in any way actually help to reduce inflation? No, no. In fact, it increases inflation. Look, Jody, I, I believe in climate change. I do. I believe it's cyclical. I can remember. I'm old enough to remember, Jody. I'm old enough to remember the early 70s when we thought we were back in an ice age. And I, I can that. actually remember that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And it is cyclical. And that's what we're going through now. But this rush to green that this administration, that the Democrats have undertaken here is what's causing our problems here. Look, 
we, we in the state of Georgia, we get it. We understand that we have a, a, we have a responsibility to our environment. I represent the entire coast of Georgia, as you well know. I love the entire coast of Georgia. This is my home. It's where I've lived all my life, where I intend to live the rest of my life. I want to make sure that my children, my grandchildren, enjoy the same environment, the natural resources that, that I was able to enjoy. I want to make sure of that. However, this rush to green is ridiculous. I mean, you know, when you think about it, here we are in the United States of America. We've done more to decrease carbon emissions in the last decade. We've decreased our carbon emissions more in this country in the last decade than the next 12 countries combined. And, and we've done it with an all of the above type energy strategy. And that's what I've subscribed to. Just this past week, we had the first nuclear reactor in over 30 years to go operational. Reactor three, unit three at Plant Vogel. I'm a big advocate for nuclear power, and I think it's, uh, it's base load, it's clean, it's, it's reliable. We need that. That's one of the reasons why here in the state of Georgia, we've been so successful economically because and, and attracting businesses because we have reliable energy. We have clean energy here, and that's very important. But I am concerned. I'm concerned about this rush to green, particularly as it relates to the to to all of the rules and regulations that we're having to follow. That's what's killing our economy. It's crushing our economy. You know, President Trump did such a good job of of streamlining the the permitting process. We had this economy clicking when he was in office. That's what Republican policies do for America, and that goes me- to show you that. Elections have consequences because policies have consequences. Absolutely. We've got about just less than 45 seconds left. If if you and the Republicans had your way, what needs to really happen to help the wallets of the American people? 30 seconds. What needs to happen is that we need to unleash our energy potential here in America, and we need to do that immediately. You know, we we all agree we need to decrease carbon emissions, but that doesn't mean you decrease choices. And that's what they don't understand. That's what the other side doesn't understand. We can unleash our energy potential here in America, decrease the rules and regulations without a harm in our economy. We can get our economy back on, 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 without hurting our environment, we can get our economy back on track. Thank you, Representative Buddy Carter. Great seeing you, God bless you.